Hey guys, Brito here. Welcome back to Demolish and Build. Here we are for another episode, episode 12, I think we're up to. Um, let's check their laptop, see what jobs we have available now. Grand leveling, wooden house construction, wooden house construction, wooden house construction. Uh, I don't know, I think we might... That's a multi-stage one. Um, dig out the ground, construct the frame, pour the concretes. Build the floor, all that sort of stuff. Yep, let's go back. About this one, it's the same, exactly the same. That's a small one. We got grand leveling. Let's do some more grand leveling. Accept job. Now we can go across to um, our assets and let's go vehicles. Let's buy the track loader. Boom. Bit of lag when it comes in. Attachments. Have we got? Um, Compact excavator, compact excavator, skid steer. Yeah, okay. Loader blade. That's for the big one. So like a, a bulldozer blade. That's probably what we should use. All right, details. Let's bring in our uh, track loader. Costs us a little bit to get it there, but that should get the job done reasonably quick. All right, let's go in and have a look at this job. Uh, we'll start it now, I believe, because it's not too late in the day, I don't think. If it's too dark when we get there, then we'll skip through till tomorrow, but it should be okay. What the hell? Something just got knocked over. Uh, where the hell did you... Drywall? Where did you come from? No idea. Alright, so laser level. Let's um, pick this thing up and move it over. This way. Maybe. Maybe there. Perfect. Alright, let's jump in this big, big dozer. Uh, jump in the side door. We've got lights. Where's our lights? Um, while well, using a controller, turn the wheel track load to pilot and forward power with the left and joystick. Left and right. Uh... I don't get what you're trying to say. Really don't get what you're trying to say. Anyway, let's um get this taken care of. Where do we want to dump? I don't know where we want to dump the dirt, but... Ooh, that's backwards, I think. Yeah, that's backwards. Alright, let's go. Options. Uh, control bindings. Vehicles. Track loader. Um, up. Up. Yes. Down, down, yes. Extend, right, left. And rotate attachment. I guess the rotate attachment would be for um, the blade. Potentially we can rotate the blade. There we go, let's get a full bucket. I don't know, there's actually a... I don't know if there was a hollow over there that we need to put some dirt in or not. This thing's definitely slower than the skid steer, but... Yeah, it looks like there's a bit of a hole behind it there. Wow, that's interesting. Definitely doesn't seem like we're getting a full bucket, that's for sure. I don't know what's going on with the camera there. It's very, very twitchy. I think you guys can see that in the recording. Alright, let's come to the start. push our way through, because I said I think there's like a hollow here that we need to fill. I feel like that is too dug out. If we just push, push straight through, we should be able to fill that up.
That is, that's if there is a hole there, which it does look like there is, doesn't it? Definitely feel like there's a hole there. Seventy percent of the dirt dug out. Let's go back to this start over here. I don't know if it's actually filling it in properly or not, but Just throw it in there and then we can come back and clean it later on if we need to. Just trying to work out what our next sort of plan of attack is. Maybe head on an angle now. Just in case I need to fill a bit more of this hole. See, there's definitely a hole there. Well, you could see if there wasn't a building in the way. This thing is 50 grand well spent. So much power in it compared to a little skid steer. It's a little bit slower, but it does the bloody job. Oh, I don't know where they want me to dump all this dirt. There needs to be a spot, or like a truck or something that we dump it into, or like a designated area to dump the dirt. I don't feel that dumping it anywhere is a good idea. Alright, push on through. Perfect. It shouldn't take us too long to get this done. It would be way... We go using this in the skid steer, obviously. It's getting a little bit dark, but it should be okay still. It's not too bad. It's going to come through, 70% of the dirt dug out. Got a lot more that we need to dig. I wonder if the, um, the blade would be better for a job like this. Come on, what are you getting stuck on? Honestly. This thing should not be getting stuck on anything. I think that's just made it worse for us. Oh my god. Ah, where are you? Where's the reset thing? Can't see where it, there it is. Hold E to reset vehicle. Uh, let's not dump it back where it was. Let's come back to the start. All right, and then we'll confirm it. Say there. All right, that's a little bit annoying. Anyway, let's come through. Still feel like we're not quite digging out enough. Gotta try and just push this off and out of the way. Certainly getting dark, isn't it? Right, 70%. We already did 70%. Need 
you're making me dig too much. Oh, we're not stuck again, are we? Far out. Honestly, what are we stuck on? This is a huge ass machine, should not be stuck on anything. Oh, this is going to be so frustrating, isn't it? But look at the size of this bloody machine. We should not be stuck on anything. I have to move the camera again for this building. Going to be in the way. I don't know where the rest of this dirt is, there's obviously a fair bit there, but take this little bit out as well. Yeah, they definitely need to work on the tracks and how powerful they are. Like we shouldn't be getting stuck on a little tiny lump of dirt. Eighty-five percent, perfect. Right, push all that through. I don't know how much percentage we actually need. Uh, smartphone. Hundred percent. Okay. Get out of that. Thank you. Uh, we're going to get stuck again. Far out. Honestly, this is just stupid. Uh, look, I should not be getting stuck on a little mound of dirt. Like, it's... This is like a full friggin' bulldozer. A bulldozer. Like, what the hell? Come on, you asshole. That's it. I'll just reset it again. I think it costs us 50 bucks every time, but... How annoying. How annoying is it? Well, there's nothing. It's a little tiny lump. Like, it should just be self-leveling once you run over it with the bloody... the loader itself. There you go. 100% dug. Beautiful. to go all the way back and make sure it's actually 100% dug. I can't remember if I've got a screenshot of this. Uh, let's go. Something like that. Alright, jump out. Check. Still 100%? Yeah, perfect. Alright, where's the truck? Let's get out of here before I get even more frustrated. Alright. Laptop, let's go. Finished job, confirm. Lovely. Another job done and dusted. So four, nearly 4,000. Not quite enough for that blade. Bit of a bummer. Right, we'll see if there's another quick job we can get stuck into. Right, open up. Switch the lights on. Ding dong, ding dong. I think um, house demolition, garage demolition. So okay, that one we got garage. Ooh, that's huge. Wooden house construction, a car dump. Um, grappling large objects. We can't do that yet. Damn it. Um. I need someone with a machine capable of moving car wrecks. Okay, so I think we need attachments, excavator, grapple, no, excavator shears. I don't know if we need grabbing large objects. 
Can I just accept that? And then do I need anything? Because I don't have anything to grapple large objects. Details. Attachments. Well, wow, actually, let's go to assets. Uh, excavator grapple. Ah, uh, okay, we need the excavator grapple. Um, cancel. Yeah. Bummer. Still there, which is good. I think the um, house demolition should be pretty easy. Demolition brick structures, demolish wood structures. Move the debris to the driveway. Alright, let's see if we can... Honestly, this loader should be able to do all this in one go. Absolutely, let's start the job. Uh, next shift. So we should just be able to pretty much just full throttle it, hold it flat, send it, and just knock it all down. And then move all the debris out of the way. Um, so they want all the debris in the driveway. Right, let's actually turn the lights on. Right, get this view. Bang. To start smashing everything. But I'm a little concerned that um, this thing turn, you bastard. Ah, uh, this thing's going to struggle to knock this down as easily as I thought it would. It should be pretty easy. Let's go the other view because that tree's going to get in the way. Alright, we sort of need to lift it all and just dump it over here. Look at it go. Let's just smash the hell out of this place. Yeah, it's making pretty light work of it. It's obviously quicker than um, using the little skid steer and the jackhammer or the claws or whatever it may be. Oh, Jesus. See, it shouldn't allow us to do that. It should... It should struggle... Um, with the hydraulics. Like, it shouldn't allow us to lift the whole back end of it off the ground. It should just struggle. Right, try and, yeah, knock all that down. So I've got to move everything to the driveway for the bonus. Does a bonus matter? Not really. But it would it be good to have the bonus? I think it would be. Right. Let's just um, keep knocking it down. Right, let's take this roof off. Taken a little bit longer than I thought it would, but there we go. Start knocking it down in big chunks. Wonder if I should start at the other end and then try and push everything towards where we've got to dump it. The loader box over there has been just thrown on the ground. that whole roof off. It's actually pretty good using this thing. Pretty fun. There goes the whole roof. Just lift it all in one big go. As I said, we'll just try and scoop everything. Push it from one end of the house to the other. Yeah, there you go, lift that roof off and try and get a better view for you guys again. All 
Right, we're slowly getting through it. Some bits aren't breaking up as good as others though. So I don't know if I should be trying to go through. I think there's like a little ledge there. Yeah, there is. Oh, Jesus. Like a little ledge there of um, brick before we can actually get into the house. It's similar to what we've hit before. In other ones, like, I can't go flat with the bucket to the ground the whole way through. I wonder if I can knock that tree out of the way. Didn't say anything about not knocking down the trees, but it's going to be in the way for sure. It's hard to see with all this bloody dust as well. Right, smack the rest of this corner through, and then we'll have to go around the other side of the tree. I'm still not a fan of how that works. I think that's something that they need to address somehow. See there, we just hit that lip and it just stops us from being able to go through. Right, I'll try and knock the rest of this roof out of the way. Just give it a good old push. Okay, we're definitely getting through it pretty quick. Yeah, see how it stuck, gets stuck on that lip? That's so annoying. It's hard to be able to see it. There we go, just keep pushing through. We'll eventually get it all over to that driveway where it needs to go. So you can see we need to come through and take out this um, floor as well. But there's a few little things I'd like to see him work on. Obviously the hydraulics and the fact we're lifting, lifting the back end of the um, loaders and stuff off the ground and also um, like the dirt levelling and all that sort of stuff, getting things stuck. We should not be getting one of these things stuck in a little lump of dirt. As we drive over it, it should level itself out anyway. Really. Alright, certainly getting through this part to watch out for that tree behind us. I want to try and keep pushing it all the way over. Try and get the teeth under that floor as well. It's certainly tough to lift that bloody floor up. This is another thing we could have, if we had the big excavator, we could bring the excavator in and demolish the house with the excavator and then just bring the loader through to move everything. A bit, a bit bummed now that I brought this instead of the excavator because I think that car crushing job would be pretty cool, but it's going to take us a little while before we get that um, 50,000 again that we're going to need. I'm trying to get back. I'm going to have to knock this other wall as well. So we're getting stuck again. It's just the smallest bloody things. Let me quickly check this again. So we have to breed to the driveway. Oop. Trying to get out of that. If it actually picked the debris up a bit better, it would be good to be able to load it straight into a truck as well. 
see all this. Like, I want to be able to move all this as well, but... Makes it bloody tough. With that little lip on the side of the house. The minute we hit it, it just stops us in our tracks. Guess we can sort of get around it a little bit. Right, I want to knock the rest of this wall down, and then we can start pushing things over a bit more towards the driveway. So the minute I try and dig the bucket in the ground, it stops you from being able to turn. Just get this. Big push. All the way over the driveway. That's pretty much what we need to do, just start pushing things out of the way. Right, last little wall on this side. Still lifting the arse end of that off the ground. Once again, can't see because the bloody tree. Right, there we go. I don't know how much of this stuff we actually have to... actually have to move over to the driveway, but I want to try and get as much of it as we can. There we go. Come back and get the long side here and try and push the rest over. It's definitely got a bit of power behind it. I think it probably needs a little bit more better traction, but... Demolish the house completed. And then we need to move everything to the driveway. Right, how much? I think it's only like a thousand dollars extra, so it's not really worth the time it's going to take to get it done. But come on, push. So I don't know how we've demolished the whole house. There's still half the bloody house standing at the back here. push all this through. I don't know how much it's expecting us to move out of here, but... Oh, that, that is crazy when it does that. It's just getting destroyed anyway because we're trying to push it over there. It's back straight to the wall. Be right. get the majority of this big stuff over there out of the way. Look at how much is sitting underneath that. See then you get bits like that where it starts to climb up on the on the debris and it actually works really well. Need some proper bulldozer tracks, but I guess they've got these tracks so we don't damage too much of the grass and stuff. But right, how are we looking? Not even three quarters of the way, I don't think. Said so I'm hoping it's not going to be too 
too pedantic about it, but... I'll try and get another good push. We're going to have to push that wall in as well. Right, I think we have to go around the other side now and push this other wall down and in. Yeah. So without running into the fence, running into something else, then I have no idea what we just ran into. It knocks it down pretty, pretty well. I love it when it just knocks down big chunks like that. Makes it even better. It's like we just need to push and then pull back and then push. Not try and just continue to push. It just doesn't work. Through it all right. So I try and lift all this back into that pad. I know I definitely need another camera angle in a second to be able to see where we're going, but right, back around this way. Still got bloody trees everywhere in our way at the moment. It's not in my way, it's in the bloody camera's way anyway. Check and see how much we've got moved over and how much we've got left to go. Makes it hard when all that dust starts coming up because you just can't bloody see. There's the side of the house again. Push through. Getting stuck again. The lip of the house just really sucks. check again. Uh, we're getting a bit closer, still not as close as I'd like to be, but I think if we can get most of this that we're running over now pushed up. Most is cleaned off out of here and then pushed over, chucked on top of that driveway. Sucks. It's not where it 
that that lip is so small, but then we hit it every time. Can you imagine driving down the street and seeing this? One of these things is demolishing a house. Oh, that'd be crazy. Be pretty bloody close now. How is a garbage bag still sitting there? I don't know how far on the driveway all this needs to go. That's the next problem. This is going to be a decent length episode for those people that like the longer ones. How are we going now? Oh, so close. It's bits and pieces going through the ground there at the moment. Surely, like, we're just about, just about there. There's not a lot laying around that we haven't already picked up or pushed in. Tree, again. I don't know why we can't pick up those garbage bags. Everything else but the garbage bags. I don't get what the lag is. I know it's probably jittery because of all this shit we got on the ground, but... Alright, let's push a little bit more in there, and then we'll do another pass at the front just there and see if... There we go, that's it. Let's do one more quick push out the front here. Just to make sure it's all in. Boom. That was actually a lot of fun. That was pretty cool. Took a bit longer than I thought it would, but look at it all. We pick all this up and throw it in there, but we are good. Right, double check, yeah, everything's done, finished job. That's gonna give us 22, 23,000 or something, which is pretty good. Still gonna be a little bit short of the 50,000, which is what I wanna get next. Obviously get the excavator. Right, 23, 8, 20, perfect. Right there, guys, we'll, we'll end it there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys did, as always, smash that like button. Any ideas, suggestions, leave it in the comments section below. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.